We are in beautiful Seattle, Washington. My name is Aaron Marshall. I bartend here at Teeny Biggs. And today we're gonna to be doing the Spanish Teeny. Can't be in Seattle without having some kind of coffee flavored martini. We're gonna start with the Starbucks coffee liqueur. And then we're gonna take a little bit of light cream to cocoa, three quarters of an ounce. And then a little Cointreau, three quarters of an ounce. Once we have all that, we're gonna add a little bit of cold coffee to it. So, martini shell, we're gonna add just a little bit of 151. Next, we're gonna caramelize a little sugar. Take our matches, burn off the sulfur first. I like the pine matches the most. Add it to our 151. You'll see a really light blue flame. Pick it up, don't worry about it. We're gonna kinda of put it at a 45 degree angle. And what we're doing now is we're trying to get some heat up there so we can start caramelizing the sugar. I can even see it starting to turn a little bit bubble on the outside. We're gonna add a little cinnamon and nutmeg. Give it one more good spin. Just a little more cinnamon and nutmeg. And then we're gonna put it out. Now you can do it a number of ways. Pop it out. You can blow it out. Or if you'd like, you can just make your cocktail and then pour it out. Take our tin. And give it a little mix. People that do this thing, I've never, never really been a big fan of it. Over the head is always the preferred method. It pours like it's a Guinness. It has that nice little cascading effect. And here at Teeny Biggs, even our heavy cream has alcohol in it. We make our heavy cream with granulated sugar, a little light cream to cocoa, and just a touch of Kahlua as well. Let's put a little bit more of that cinnamon. Just tap a little bit on the very top. Just take a sip or serve straw. Give it a little twirl all the way around. One single line right down the middle for a nice heart. The best thing to finish it off with a little Brazilian chocolate on the outside. Watch out, it's good. 